Assalamualaikum. I am Dr. Parvin Akhtar, Professor and Head, Department of Physiology, Bushundhara Ardin Medical College. Now I am going to deliver my lecture on junctional tissues of the heart. So let's start. At first, what is the junctional tissue of the heart? Cardiac muscle consists of certain specialized structure which are responsible for initiation and transmission of cardiac impulse at a higher rate than the rest of the muscle. Those specialized cardiac tissue are collectively known as the junctional tissue of the heart. Junctional tissues are SA node or sinoatrial node, internodal pathway, atrioventricular node, bundle of his, right and left branches of bundle of his and the Purkinje fiber. <coughs> of this, the SA node is called the <coughs> pacemaker of the heart and it has the special ability to self excitation. Why SA node has the self excitation power? Because it has the inherent leakiness of the SA node to sodium and potassium channel and it has a less negative resting moment potential which has the minus 55 to 60 millivolt. Why SA node has a self excitation power? Self excitation of the SA node nodal fiber. At first the resting moment, resting moment potential of the SA node is minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt. We know the resting moment potential of the last nerve, last nerve fiber is minus 90 millivolt, but SA node is minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt. Because of the high sodium ion concentration in the extracellular fluid, sodium ion concentration of sodium ion concentration in extracellular fluid is high, so the positive charge of sodium ion leaks to the inside. Therefore, the influx of positive charge sodium ion causes a slow rise of resting moment potential in the positive direction. When the potential reaches a threshold below of about minus 40 millivolt, the calcium sodium channel becomes activated, leading to rapid entry of both calcium and sodium ion causes the action potential. So, inherent leakiness of SNO to the sodium and calcium channel causes their self excitation. This figure shows the <coughs> resting moment potential of the sodium <coughs> SNO is minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt. When this threshold level is reaches the minus 40 millivolt, it causes the action potential. This self excitation of the SNO fiber is also called known as the pacemaker potential. So, what is the pacemaker potential? Rhythmically discharging cell have a membrane potential that after each impulse decline to the firing level, it is called a pacemaker potential, it triggers the next impulse. So, what is the difference between the acenodal potential and the ventricular muscle potential? Acenodal action potential is minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt and ventricular muscle action potential is minus 85 to minus 90 millivolt. <coughs> in acenodal action potential, the plateau phase is absent, but in ventricular muscle action potential, plateau phase is present due to pseudo calcium sodium channel. And what is the channel involved in sodium leak channel, calcium sodium channel, and potassium channel is present? And in ventricular muscle action potential, there is fast sodium channel, calcium and sodium channel and potassium channel is present. And rate of impulse generation, in SA node, the rate of impulse generation is 70 to 80 impulse per minute and internal pathway is 60 impulse per minute, AB node 40 to 60 and Purkinje fiber is 15 to 40 impulse per minute. Why SA node is called a pacemaker of the heart? Because it generates cardiac impulse at fast and faster rate than any other junctional tissue of the heart and it rate of impulse transmission is other than the another junctional tissue of the heart which is 60 to 80 impulse per minute and it maintains the 
normal cardiac rhythm and it has a special ability of self excitation and generate its own action potential automatically and rhythmically and it maintains the normal cardiac rhythm. So, SA node is called the pacemaker of the heart. And what is the reserve pacemaker? When the SA node fail to generate impulse then the AV node produces the impulse and its own rate of impulse generation is 40 to 60 impulse per minute. So, it is called the reserve pacemaker. An ectopic pacemaker, ectopic pacemaker is another called the abnormal pacemaker. When the pacemaker of the heart shift elsewhere than the S node, it is called the ectopic abnormal pacemaker. AV node and Purkinje fiber act as a ectopic pacemaker. An ectopic pacemaker causes abnormal sequence of contraction of the different parts of the heart. It disturbs the heart pumping. Now the Stokes Adams syndrome. During the AV block, cardiac impulse fails to pass, fail to pass from the atria to ventricle, but atria continues to beat its normal rate. So, a new pacemaker develops in the Purkinje system and ventricle then <coughs> starts to beat at a rate of 15 to 40 impulse per minute. But Purkinje system does not begin to emit its own impulse immediately, it takes time, it takes 5 to 20 seconds to get it from the overdriven effect of SA node. During this time, ventricle fails to pump blood. Person faint within 40 to 5 to 4 to 5 seconds because of the lack of blood supply to the brain. This delayed pickup of the heartbeat is called the Stokes Adams syndrome and in extreme situation patient can die. This is called the Stokes Adams syndrome. And velocity of conduction velocity of the heart muscle SA node is 0.5 second and Purkinje fiber is 4 second. This is the highest velocity of the conduction is the Purkinje fiber. What is the AV nodal delay? Delay in impulse transmission of the impulse from the SA node to the AV node is called the AV nodal delay. It is about 0.09 second. What is the cause of AV nodal delay? Junctional fiber are very small, very few gap junction, connect the successive fiber in the pathway and resting moment potential of this fiber are the less negative and prolonged refractory period of the AV node. And importance of the <coughs> AV nodal delay, <coughs> it causes the content of the um, ventricle to empty the content into the ventricle. So, AV nodal delay is very important. What is the e speed of cardiac excitation. Depolarization is initiated in, in the SA node, then spread rapidly through the atria and then converts on the AV node. Then atria depolarization complete in about 0.1 second. So, there is a delay of about 0.1 second, AV nodal delay before excitation spreads to the ventricle. Then from the top of the septum, the wave of depolarization is spread is rapidly conducting through the Purkinje fiber to the all parts of the ventricle. Then depolarization of the ventricular muscle starts on the left side of the interventricular septum, then moves fast to the right across the mid portion of the septum. Then wave of the depolarization is spread down the septum to the apex of the heart, then it returns along the ventricular wall to the AV groove then from the endocardial, endocardium to the epicardial surface. Then last part of the heart depolarized are the posterior basal portion of the left ventricle, then pulmonary conus and uppermost part of the septum. So, this is the figure of the speed of cardiac excitation that I already described. So, this is all about my <coughs> lecture on the junction on tissues of the heart. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.